what's going on guys? Today I'm going to answer a question from the Ask a Question forum on the Roach Technology forums. This user, the Be Cool Guy, writes, Hey there, my PC is going to be outdated in one and a half to two years. I'm already considering what to buy when that happens. So from there he goes on to say that he likes Mac, he lists his budget out, and he's really wondering whether he should go the Hackintosh route, a Mac Pro route, or a Mac Mini route. And one thing I found interesting is that near the end there, he says that he doesn't like the Hackintosh. Thanks for the question, the big cool guy. I'm sure there's other people out there that have a very similar question to yours, and not necessarily whether even if it's a Hackintosh versus a Mac, but even if you do decide to go with, say, a real Mac, whether you should get like a Mac Pro or a Mac Mini, that's a question that I'm sure a lot of people have, so here's my two cents on the topic. When it comes time to buy a new computer, there's basically three main guidelines that I, I would say tell my family and friends about. Number one is the price you're going to pay, number two is how tech savvy you are, and number three is the things you're going to be doing with that computer. You can go out and buy a top of the line Mac Mini from Apple's website, and that is with a Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 256 gigabyte solid state drive, and you're going to get really awesome performance on that. But you know, if you're going to be editing a lot of video, it's kind of like the new Mac Pro is, where a lot of that stuff is going to be external if you want to expand it. Now I know you said that you're not really a fan of the Hackintosh, and actually I'm kind of curious as to why, so if you're watching this, go ahead and comment down below and fill me in. But uh, with the Hackintosh, I'm sure you're well aware of the main pro is the price and performance ratio. For example, if we take that Mac Mini that's you know fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars fully maxed out in specs, for that same fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars on the PC side of things, you can get all those same specs plus like a dedicated GPU and probably a secondary storage drive as well. And that's probably one of the biggest disadvantages that the Mac Mini has over a Mac Pro or a Hackintosh is that you cannot have dedicated GPU options. You're stuck with the HD 4000 graphics, whereas on the Hackintosh or the Mac Pro, you can have a dedicated GPU, which is really nice. And as I'm sure you know, Apple is releasing a new Mac Pro at the end of this year, around the fall time. And I did a whole video on it, you know, the Mac Pro versus the Hackintosh and what I think about it. But basically what I said in that video is that the new Mac Pro is going to be insanely powerful but it's just going to be non-upgradable. Any expansion that you do with that machine is going to have to be external through Thunderbolt. And for me and for a lot of other people, that's just not cool. So another option you may have if you're looking for a Mac Pro is that you can go on eBay or Amazon or whatever have you and buy an old Mac Pro of which you still have that internal expansion and you still have some pretty beastly specs. But keep in mind there's no Thunderbolt there so you're going to have to go with like a cinema display or some other aftermarket display. Now I can absolutely recommend you a Hackintosh. It's the biggest bang for the buck out there that you're going to find. You get to learn a little bit about computers in the process and it's overall a very, very stable solution that runs OS X, Windows, Linux, any operating system that you can throw at it, provided you get the right hardware. Now I know that you said you don't like the Hackintosh world and I'm, like I said, I'm curious as to why, but if you really just don't want to do any work and you just want to hit the power button and if there's an update available, you can click it without worrying and you really don't want to have to mess with anything then obviously I'm not going to recommend you a Hackintosh. But if you're willing to learn a few things or you're willing to tweak a few things, just you know, spend an extra half an hour to get everything working, then the Hackintosh is a great way to go. Now if the Hackintosh is just out of the picture and you don't want to mess with that, uh, for you the be cool guy, what I'd recommend to you is look at either an old school Mac Pro or maybe even something like an iMac. Now keep in mind with that iMac or the Mac Mini or the new Mac Pro or really anything from Apple nowadays, you can't get in there and upgrade very much. And if that's a big deal for you, then like I said, I'd recommend the old school Mac Pro or even a Hackintosh. But with any of Apple's newer modern desktops, you really can't upgrade much aside from in some cases the RAM. Actually, I think in all their machines you can upgrade the RAM, and in some cases, you know, the SSD or the hard drive. If you were if you want to upgrade more than that in the future, then do not go with something like an iMac or the new Mac Pro or a Mac Mini. But if you're looking for a machine to handle everyday tasks, you're not going to be doing tons of intense gaming or editing, then really any of Apple's more modern desktops will suit you very nicely. Uh, you mentioned with the Mac Pro that you'd want to get a Thunderbolt display. If you go with something like the iMac, not only do you get an awesome computer with that, but you also get one of the best displays on the market with it as well. So that'd be a great way to go, like I said, if you don't mind having an all-in-one that you really can't upgrade much. So the Be Cool Guy, I hope that helped you out. I hope it straightened some things out. And if you're not the Be Cool Guy, just anyone else watching this, I hope it helped you. Uh, if you are interested in the world of the Hackintosh, you want to see some of the things I was talking about with updates or anything like that, I have literally hours of footage on the Hackintosh, of tutorials and explanations and my opinions. Just go ahead and check out my channel of anything you want for the Hackintosh. Request a video with anything of the Hackintosh, and I'll be sure to get to it eventually. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and the Roach Technology forums, where this question actually came from. There's a whole Ask a Question forum there. And I hope to see you guys back here very soon.